Hi everybody. For those of you that don't know me, I am the sister of our beautiful bride. That's right. Okay, it's 15 years age difference, so I mean, you know, dad's saying, hey, when are you getting married? I said, you know, another 15 years. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate the both of you on your union. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. It's amazing what you guys have done to perfect your wedding, all the planning. You guys had so much fun with it. <laughs> anyway, I hope that for the rest of your lives, you bring each other love, company, and happiness. The both of you have changed my life, and I think that your children will be pretty lucky. I mean, you already had a guinea pig to test your disciplining on. <laughs> me! <Okay. laughs> my sister first met me in the delivery room, something that has been a fairly horrifying memory for her. Mm -hmm. From as far back as I can remember, Louisa has always taken care of me. She still picks me up from school, though not too many of my classmates still think she's my mom anymore. <laughs> Louisa has always been my mentor and has constantly been involved in my life. Although her days of read aloud times to my class may be over, her stint at the high school robotics team is just beginning. <laughs> That's true. I've always considered her as a role model, but nevertheless, we're very close to each other. Today, you see me in a bright green dress, and if it wasn't such a special occasion, I'd probably be in some designer jeans that she bought for me. <laughs> you know, my whole closet is full of stuff that my sister buys. So I'm very blessed to have a wonderful, caring sister like this. And she continues to go on above and beyond the call of duty for any sister. And you could almost say she's my third parent. See, she really could be my mother's sister. <laughs> I get to share my sister with this guy over here named Matt. I first met Matt at the fourth grade Carver Carnival. If you guys saw any of that picture, you know, with Matt and Louisa, and I was a little kid in the little blue jacket. Yep, that was me back in fourth grade. It was a pretty long time ago, but I do remember that that year we won a boombox and that Matt would play how to learn Spanish CDs in the car. <laughs> my sister got him to change his haircut, and now he can kind of sing in tune. <laughs> Through the years, Matt's helped me with various school group projects, such as you know, video projects from 7th and 8th grade. You know, when I was, um, what was it, um, John Thompson, or no, 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 I was this guy from, okay, from Call of the Wild. And, you know, I had long hair, big mustache. My sister said I looked like Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Matt helped with that too. So, um, for the past few years, Matt has been learning Chinese. I mean, a couple of you guys heard that tonight, right? So, hopefully some of you understood that. <laughs> now, you know, his vocabulary is vastly greater than mine. But uh, I think, you know, some pronunciation issues. Adria still has to be able to understand his supermarket conversations. <laughs> I guess Matt's yellow fever has extended over to the Chinese culture as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great getting to know Matt over the last few years, and now it's pretty cool that he's my brother, right? So, anyway, this year brings a lot of change, and the both of you are initiating a new chapter of your lives together. I get to start off junior year with a vacation, as of next weekend we're in Singapore. And I'd like to thank all of you for attending tonight and sharing this special moment with us. It's wonderful how so many people are here because everybody shares the same love for this one couple. So thank you. Thank you for that wonderful speech. Guess who will be walking home this evening? How about another round of applause for that wonderful speech, you guys?